Mary Sue. Thank you. Um, to start, Ava, when you're adapting a work like this, was it always your focal point from the start to kind of have it on Isabel's journey as she is writing the novel? Or was there any kind of like, were you working with how you wanted to tell this story? It's a little bit, it took a little while, it was two years to write the script. And I would say the first year I was struggling to figure out how to do it. I remember I wrote a whole script that I had to kind of put away about nine months in because it just wasn't working. Um, and so it was really trying to find and figure out how to um, have Isabel be our guide, but also to be with her in the journey, not watching for her from the outside, but with her as if we are her. She is, we are her. We are experiencing her discovery as she does. So that takes a little bit of, little bit of work. And uh, and that was the the the, um, the the hardest part of the writing process. It was a journey. And to go off a journey for Anjana, you are going on this journey as she did with the character. And so for you, how did that kind of uh, fit within your process as an actor to kind of get to be in her shoes in those moments as she's like researching her book? Did that help you or was that kind of daunting to like be in her shoes that completely? Well, it's I, I would say it was daunting because of she's she's just so brilliant. And I had to be convincing as a brilliant con convincing as being brilliant and being convincing as being a brilliant scholar on top of that. So, yes, that 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 was daunting. And so that required me reading and rereading there's this the sequence that we were that we did where we're writing the pillars on the on the whiteboard you know I I would say to Ava I'm not writing it unless I understand it um so I I so so yes it was it was daunting but that was the fun of it and you know thankfully what Ava was seeing was filming was me trying to under, understand it uh so um that that you know, zeal to understand or trying to understand, I think was reflect was I was reflecting what essentially what Isabel was doing when she was trying to understand these larger ideas. I'm trying to understand her ideas, you know, so it works. Hopefully it works. Oh, it 100 percent does. So I was going to say the ending, like watching Isabel hear these stories, like by the end, I was just sobbing. And I know I'm not alone. I know like a collective. Everyone has been crying that I've seen. And so for both of you, what is it about origin coming out that makes you kind of so excited for audiences to get to see this this film which is absolutely beautiful mm. yes ma'am i'm i'm excited for real people to see it you know we've been in the film festival circuit and that's a, that's sometimes public tickets but mostly you're dealing with the industry we've been on the award circuit where it's been a lot of people in the different guilds and the academies looking at it and that's Lovely. There have been incredible responses from it that have really been that have warmed my heart and expanded my perspective. But we made this for the, for people, you know, for real people in real places. In the film, Nisi Nash says, "Real people, real things." And so we are excited that the film on the nineteenth will be kind of unleashed. And you know, it it's like I would imagine a a, a mother when or a, a father when their kid goes off to college. You just wave and you say, I gave you everything I had, you know, do your best. And that happens on January 19th. You know, it, this is our baby. And, uh, you know, we've been raising it for a long time, but the day will come next Friday where it'll do what it will in the world. And I believe it's going to make us proud. I, I agree. Thank you guys so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. I can't wait for people to get to see Origin. Me too.